More than 800,000 cards out of close to 17 million persons have registered, who have registered have not yet been received by the applicants, according to the Executive Secretary of the National Identification Authority, Professor Ken Atefa. He tells TV3 there is every indication enough cards have been printed to cover telecom service customers who have to meet a July 31 deadline to register their SIM cards. So we exist in perpetuity to provide continuous registration services. And that's what we are doing. The law requires us, after mass registration, to set up permanent regional and district offices. To date, we have set up 276 district operational offices. And we set them up simultaneously, all of them on the 3rd of November 2021. We have also set up 16 regional offices. So we have 292 offices operating nationwide. And registration services are being delivered at these places. And the reality is that there are, at least from the, the data as of today, there are about 16,969,034 Ghanaians who have been enrolled onto the National Identity Register. Out of that number, 16,535,623 cards have been printed. And of that number, 15,702,719 have been issued, have been issued to people. So what it means is that at minimum, 15.7 million cards are available to be linked to SIM cards. The question would be, how many of these have been linked to date? And I think that the important thing is to recognize that the number of Ghana cards available far exceed the number of SIM cards that have been linked as of today. So there is a certain um, margin still to be done by we Ghanaians in terms of linking our SIM cards to the Ghana card. So that, that is a conversation that has to um, go on. But we will continue to expand opportunities for people to get their Ghana cards. Um, we, we started operating additional registration points at various stadia. Various stadia, Ho, Kumase, Tamale, you know, Cape Coast, all over the place. But as soon as the Honorable Minister announced the SIM card registration um, extension from March to July 31st, there was a sudden drop. People stopped patronizing these registration points and therefore NI was compelled to close down the offices because they were just not being patronized. Now that the deadline is approaching, we are having to find extra resources to go and open these uh, points again and increase the number in order to serve the interests of the public. But as a responsive and responsible state institution, it is our commitment to ensure that the pace, that we quicken the pace of Ghana card acquisition and that we ease the pain that is also involved. We've heard stories and we have some evidence of the veracity of some of those stories about corruption in the registration process and we have reported some of them to the police. Prosecutions are occurring, disciplinary processes are underway to the extent possible to ensure that our services are delivered to the public in a manner that is administratively just fair and efficient.